what even is the Oigawa Railway Toby? I got the USB cord, it's plugged to my microphone, I'm gonna talk to the power. I can't pay electric bills! Well, inevitable jokes aside, surprisingly, not that. Well, for starters, the engine we're looking at is a DD-20, a main locomotive on the Southern Alps about line, which was introduced in 1982. Specifically at Oigawa, there are currently six of these carriages running, and each one has its own name, as you can see on screen. Due to appearances and the line these happen to operate on, most people do assume that they are electric. But believe it or not, these engines are diesel operated, hauling trains on the Aikawa section of the railway. The train does have electric banking engines added for the about rack portion, however. So this engine directly is not electric, but it's not entirely wrong to make the joke or comparison. Some people have made the mistake of calling this Toby narrow gauge. This, however, is not true. Instead, he is a part of a light railway, which in direct definition is a railway built at lower costs, more typically with lower standards than heavy rail, using lighter weight track, maybe steeper gradients, tighter curves, and they reduce civil engineering costs. This in turn makes Toby and the DD-20s look puny when they actually run on the same gauge as the other engines. Unfortunately, I'm not sure which of the original six carriages were used to make Toby, though it would have been cool if he was a entirely new build, you know, making him the seventh vehicle, since he's Sodor's seventh engine, you know what I mean. Unfortunately, you can only find Toby running on the Oigawa River section, where he was unveiled to locals on August 17th, before starting operation on August 19th. One of the cooler things I think Toby does is he actually talks to the passengers inside of him, well, not the train, you know what I mean, again. And in these announcements, Toby says, Hello everyone, it's me, Toby. Does everyone know me? Thomas runs on the Oigawa main line, but I'm the only one who runs on the Aikawa line to Okizumi? Okui. I probably said that very wrong. You can open the window by hand, so enjoy the scenery a lot. He also makes other announcements such as, Everyone can see the river outside the window. That's Oigawa. It's flowing slowly, and slowly like me. It's really full of nature here, and it feels so good. Not only that, but Toby can actually talk to the children. For example, as he goes really close to the trees, he says, my face is so close, or I think my face is going to hit me and it hurts. These translations are not uh, doing this very well. Or if a child asks Toby how it was, he'll say it was fun or it was cool. Something that I wish was at every Tay Out With Thomas event. And now that we've explained this thing, I'm sure you're wondering how I feel about it. You know, being the dark side of Day Out with Thomas guy and all. This thing is this, fucking awesome. When I think of Oigawa, I think of one term. First, get your facts straight and then distort them at your own leisure. I'd personally say Oigawa embodies this uh, to the best degree. Most of the engines they have do not look like Thomas characters. Thomas looks really nothing like a C11. But when you look at their Thomas, which happens to be a C11, it looks exactly like Thomas still. And that's because they get every other detail right. The color, the face, the livery. That's basically the color. Shut up. They get every detail they can about the character right when making it into a real engine, while also maintaining the integrity of that original engine. They don't butcher them and turn them into other things. Instead, they become integral parts of that railway. It, plus, Oigawa's made bulgy and birdy and rusty and troublesome trucks and... It, Oigawa's the closest thing you're gonna get to being on Sodor. So, as strange as the basis they chose is, I, I'm honestly just happy to see Toby being represented. Even if he does look like a Lincoln Logs kit. But be sure to let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Really quick, I want to give a huge thank you to my patrons for making videos like this possible. And as always, guys, thanks again for watching. And on the chance you think me praising Oigawa takes away from maybe Strasbourg or any other day out with Thomas event, this morning, did you brush your teeth? Did you Have you taken a shower within the last week? There are bigger problems at hand. Worry about yourself. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.